So the journey of this show is epic. Not only did the game open doors for shows like Scandal and Empire, it showed how the fans and social media could change the fate of the show, much like the Tamron Hall show, which is why we have season four and five, because the fans <laughs> speak. And when the fans speak, the network listen. Please welcome the newly rebooted series of the game, Wendy Raquel Robinson and Hosea Chanchez. <laughs> Listen, I love that you're on set. It looks beautiful. Both of you are smiling. I saw you when, he, when, when they were playing the clip of the fans um, talking about the show and, and the journey. You had a big smile on your face. How does it feel to not just be back, but because the fans said, bring them back or, oh. or else we won't watch? <laughs> I say, or else. It's so humbling. I, I was actually tearing up just seeing the journey mm -hmm. and everything that you were saying about grace and just being grateful. It's really, it's a surreal feeling, you know? Even being here on set and seeing all of this happen and actually we're shooting the finale right now, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're so going to get into amazing. that because I need some spoiler alerts. But this is a crazy oh, journey God. when you think about it. I mean, the show was canceled at one point when you were, I think it was on UPN, they flooded the phone lines. Like, the actual network couldn't take any more phone calls because fans <laughs> kept calling and saying, we want this show. Why do you believe that the game um, inspired people, not just to say to friends, oh, darn, I wish that show was still on. They were inspired <laughs> enough to take action to keep the show on. What, what do you think the reason was, Wendy? You know, I really think it's the characters that just draw everybody in. You know, we're so dimensional. You know, the writing is so well said and spoken. And um, the performances, the fans have been ride or die. They Ooh. get it. Mm. And I, I think at the end of the day, we like an underdog story. Yeah. You know, if you look at Tasha and Malik, we started from the bottom. Yeah. And now we're in private jets <laughs> and, you know, just living an incredible life. And uh, I, I think that's it. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the, the, the characters are fantastic, and you do get to know. I, I like to say Tasha Mack, your character, Wendy, was Kris Jenner before Kris Jenner. She was the original yeah. momager, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> because, you know, yeah. your character is a female agent overseeing her son's career to greatness. Um, she does not mm -hmm. take no for an answer. She's an empowered, unapologetic woman who is taking a stand. And... This show started around 2006, Kris Jenner's family, 2007. So I think Kris Jenner was inspired by Tasha Mack. That's my theory. I think she was, <laughs> That's too. my theory. I think she was, too, Sarah. I need to holler at her. I yeah. think she's trying to steal my juju. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, Jose, for, okay. your, exactly. for your character, Malik, you know, you think about the timing in real life, what we discuss with athletes, whether it's Colin Kaepernick and, and even current cycle with the NBA and Kyrie Irving, all of these things where the athletes become more than they are on the field. You have a fictionalized character who has touched on that, whether it's discrimination, um, the damage that the game can do to one's body, and the juggling of a love life when you are a world-famous athlete and a lot of women want your number. I mean, you are bringing this real journey of what some of these athletes deal with every day. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? One of the things that I really love so much about this character through the years is that my character is really the voice of the players in so many ways, not just from, you know, a perspective of relationships, but a lot of the things that happen on the field and that, it, that inspires the things that happen in real life. So my character kind of leads us into the world of things that are happening mm. on the field with real players and how they're influencing our regular lives. And as you said, Tamron, these players are responsible for a lot of social um, and economic change that we are experiencing as a culture right now. So I yeah. feel really honored and really blessed to be Malik in this season, right. not only of my life, but of our lives and of the character's life. Well, so you make a great point. It's been a journey. I know that the show came back on Netflix and people started. That That kind of was the resurge Ooh, yeah. of the reboot. <laughs> I'm curious because the show had been canceled. Then it pops mm -hmm. up, I guess it was two years ago, on Netflix, and that reignited mm -hmm. the interest. Do you believe if you hadn't found your way on Netflix that you would be in this reboot right now? 
Ooh. Well, no, no, I know we're in harmony with that. Unfortunately, <laughs> to to yeah. call back to the fans yeah. um, that you were speaking about, honestly, uh, Devon, mm -hmm. our showrunner, and Mar Brock Akil, our creator, they have been honestly. We there were quite a few. Uh, there were a lot of talks and considerations yeah. for bringing the show back. Yeah, yeah. So even prior to, to Netflix. Exactly. Yeah. So we've been actually <laughs> considering and talking about and figuring wow. out which network, where, how, what. Uh, the right home. Like. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, what you said earlier, years. and what I and my mother always says, there's a reason in a season, and the yeah. reason why you're back yeah. is is to have this show bring these characters that folks have fallen in love with to the next level. And we are talking to the cast of a show that folks cannot stop talking about, Wendy Raquel Robinson and Josea Chanchez from The Game. Also joining us for the, from the show, Adrian Ray and Von Hebron, the newbies. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations on this. And Adrian, your journey is so fascinating. You just left Chicago Fire, and you posted on Instagram about it. And I just want to read a part of it, because it really touched my heart. You said, some things are really only meant for a season, and that's OK, and that I am a human, and we are only growing. Great things are coming, and we are all exactly where we are supposed to be. And I love that sentiment, because you looked at the chapter at Chicago Fire, and now you're on this show, this highly anticipated show. It's where you are supposed to be. Can you believe it? I mean, I, I sit back and I think about it, and it's, it's sometimes I'm slack-jawed about it, because it really was a leap of, OK, I'm moving into a next chapter. And it's scary, because as actors, you know, sometimes you move and you don't know if you're going to get that next job. You don't know what's going to come next. But you have faith, and you believe that God is working in the greatest ways for you and everyone else. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to be here, it's just like, wow, I'm so grateful, because I, I leaped and I landed in a beautiful place. When you were taking that, that was beautiful. You know, because so much of the show today is about, you know, accomplishing things big and small. Do you remember um, the day or the moment where you said, I'm going to take this leap, but I'm not going to fall? I remember taking the leap. I didn't know if I would fall. That's the scariest part is I, I, I said, if I fall, it, I'll be OK. That's yeah. more of the mindset that I had to have. Yeah. And as as the time progressed, I was thought I was falling, and I was like, well, maybe I'm not. <laughs> maybe, I'm, maybe I'm OK. So uh, that's more what happened. I love that. Well, Vaughn, what is it like to join this cast where people really know and love the characters? I mean, I remember seeing Wendy. You don't even know this. I was somewhere in L.A., and I remember hearing someone yell out, Tasha Mack! I mean, her, her character <laughs> has such an impression that in many ways, with all of her success, that character hit a nerve, just like Hosea and Malik. It's like, hey, there's Malik. I'm like, no, that's Hosea. You know, but <laughs> right. when you're the newbie on the show that has made such an impression, how does it feel to walk in the room and, and get your game up on the game? <laughs> yeah, um, it's really like join, joining a family that you grew up with Mm -hmm. And it's like going from the little kids' table at Thanksgiving to the adult <laughs> table <laughs> at Thanksgiving. You know, now you get a you get to see with them, you get to experience and laugh with them, and you get to be a part of the conversations, the experience that kind of influenced you growing up. Wow. You know, and mm -hmm. it's like again being with your aunts and your uncles, and you're actually now having these adult conversations, this adult experience. No, it's so it's really like it's really being. A part of something that was so influential on you. Listen, you, you. I think you're. He meant brother, Tamara. Yeah, he meant uncle. He meant brother. It's be cousin. It's be cousin. And listen, you, you called your co-hosts aunties. They're like, no, no, we're friends. We're siblings. Vaughn, your character, I'm fascinated by. He's a bit of a dark past. And Jameson will be introduced to the audience. Will we love Jameson? Will we not? What's going on here? Will we? I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that means we won't think... like Jameson. So now we have a character already. <laughs> if you can't say yes, we will like Jameson. We already know Jameson's going to be a problem. Um, Hosea, one of the no, things... we're going to love Jameson. Yeah, I, I, no, love, I just... I, I'm an, I do crime, and I investigate, and I just saw the flinch. We're not going to like Jameson. <laughs> I know that. I can you know tell. I, uh, but, you know... Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Love we'll love him. Okay, I'm going to see because I'm going to be watching every episode. But, Jose, I've got to ask you because so much of the series, obviously, is based on football, but part of the reason it broke out is also these strong women, these strong female characters that take on misogyny, that take on the game. Um, what yes. is that like when you're reading these scripts? And, and not that the men are second to the women, but the driving force no, of this show. Well, you are. <laughs> Smart answer. We are. Yeah. <laughs> what and that's is the way it, like? it should be. And that's the way it should be. Talk to me about the Absolutely. impact that that had on, on people loving the show. Well, you know what, and to give a little bit of my own personal perspective, Tamron, you're absolutely right. I think that what makes this show special to me from day one has been the relationships between the players and the women. The women expose us to who these guys really are. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's just a bunch of men in locker rooms talking smack, you know, mm -hmm. and that's not really... Uh, that's not a that's not entertaining. You yeah. know, what makes this world so appealing is the fact that we get to see these men through the eyes of these women. Mm. These women bring you into these cats. Mm. So I think that's what makes the world <laughs> great. Now, as far as my thoughts on <laughs> how that plays into the scripts and how this world uh, and how this world is important because of these women. I think they make this show what it is. Wow. See, he, and that's and the Mama why. raised him well. Mama <laughs> yeah. raised him no, well. No, seriously. Yeah. Yeah.